असलम क्या हाल है आप लोग ओके उम्मीद करता हूँ बिल्कुल ठीक होंगे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए वीडियो को लाइक और शेयर कीजिए बेल नोटिफिकेशन को लाजमी प्रेस कीजिएगा ताकि इस प्लेटफॉर्म का एक एक नोटिफिकेशन आपको मिल सके तो जनाब जिंदगी गुजरती है जिंदगी में वक्त भी गुजरता है और इसी तरीके से दो भी गुजर गया तकरीबन गुजर गया थोड़ा सा ये वक्त बाकी रह गया तो सोचा आप लोगों के साथ गुफ्तु करूं 2022 लोगों का कैसा रहा इस पर मैंने कुछ लोगों की राय ली है कुछ मेरे टीचर्स हैं कुछ मेरे स्टूडेंट्स हैं कुछ फेलो कॉलीग्स हैं और बड़े कुछ बड़े स्पेशल किस्म के टैलेंट भी हैं इसके अंदर सब ने अपनी राय दी कि उनके नज़दीक 2022 कैसा रहा उनको दो से क्या तो हैं और ये जो हमारा प्लेटफॉर्म है जिसमें हम जारी किसी एक टॉपिक पर बात नहीं करते मुख्तलिफ मौजूद पर जारी गुफ्तु करते हैं तो लोगों को ये वाला प्लेटफॉर्म कैसा लगता है यूट्यूब का तो आपको पता है यूट्यूब पे नॉर्मली एक ही किस्म का टॉपिक होता है जिसपे आपको मुख्तलिफ एस्पेक्ट्स पे लोग वीडियोस बनाते हुए नजर आते हैं बट आई टू केट डिफरेंटली तो लोगों का इसके बारे में क्या ख्याल है ये हम लोगों की गुफ्तु से जानते हैं special in our own unique ways but the most special of us are those who make others feel special make them believe in themselves and learn how, what they are truly capable of I have been lucky to find such a mentor like Sarvakar who has made me feel inspired through his words through his YouTube channel and I am glad that I have made this choice to feel inspired and to be a better version of myself thank you curators and I hope to see a lot more of this inspiring content to help me learn more about this world about myself and happy new year I'm Aisha Ray from Bahar Sen School System. Um, 2022, the number means something different to, to all of us. To some, it brought happiness, joy, and love, and to some, it brought changes. People grew and evolved as the dates went on, and they gained new experiences. I consider myself lucky to have learned new things. I learned, laughed, loved, and cried all along while doing something new. I have even better expectations from the year ahead of me which is 2023. I want to learn new habits, I want to achieve better things that will shape me as a better person. I want to surround myself with people who will make me feel good about myself. Uh I want to think positive as well. I learn new things and for that I will take help from Sir Wakar's new channel for Sir Wakar's channel. Curators where he posts informative videos on all kinds of different topics and I believe that when I watch these videos I learn something new. So uh for achieving this I'm going to watch his videos and hopefully we are going to get full geared into the new year. Thank you. Hi go I is to Ari from Bahaj Sen School System. 2022 has been a confusing, magnificent and informative year for all of us. I'm looking forward to all of the new resolutions, adventures, and experiences for the upcoming year that is 2023. Let us take a trip down our memory lane. We had a lot of big ups and big downs. We some people fulfilled their dreams. We made a lot of great memories, had a lot of victories. Nevertheless, we all have to agree on one thing. 2022 was a very crazy and interesting year and a year that kept us on our toes. Thank you Sarvakar and the curators for giving me a platform to share my thoughts and express myself on. Hopefully this year uh, this year we will all learn something new and this year will be a joyful year for all of us. Happy New Year. Thank you. Hello world this is Aisha Ghazi and as you know it is the end of the year i've been thinking about it but allah taala has given me so many achievements this year and i have learned a lot from them for example in january there was a all pakistan speech competition which was held by peda and i got a position in it Then after that, in Ramadan, there was an other competition which was held by QTV. I got a position at it too. There are many more achievements, but all the profit goes to my mentor, Sir Wakar. I'm really inspired from him when I watch his videos on his YouTube channel, The Curators. And honestly, this year I've learned a lot from him. Thank you. 
بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وقار میاں آپ کا یہ یوٹیوب چینل اپنے تنوع کے حوالے سے بڑے محاسن رکھتا ہے ایک طرف علم و ادب کی بات ہے تو ایک طرف کھیل و ثقافت ہے ایک طرف تفریح ہے تو یقیناً یہ جو مختلف نو کے پروگرامس آپ ریکارڈ کر کے اور یوٹیوب چینل پہ بھیجتے ہیں وہ معلوماتی بھی ہیں اور دلچسپ بھی اور تفریح کا سبب بھی ہیں تو یہ ایک بہت ہی کامیاب کوشش ہے اور یہ اسی طرح چلتی رہے سال نو کے حوالے سے ایک تو سب کو مبارک ہو اور دوسرا آپ نے پوچھا کہ دو ہزار بائیس کیسا رہا تو یقیناً دو ہزار اکیس اور دو ہزار بیس کے بعد جو گزشتہ سال گزرے ہیں دو سال ان کے بعد یہ بہت اچھا سال گزرا ہے جس میں جو سماجی فاصلے اور سماجی دوریاں تھیں ان کا خاتمہ ہوا اور زندگی دوبارہ سے اپنے معمول پر لوٹی تو یقیناً یہ بہتر ثابت ہوا اور ہمیں امید ہے اور بہت قوی امید ہے کہ دو ہزار تیئیس جو ہے وہ اس سے بھی بہتر ثابت ہوگا کچھ سیاسی اور معاشی مسائل رہے ہیں لیکن خدا دارا سے امید ہے کہ وہ مسائل بھی ان قریب حل ہو جائیں گے اور دو ہزار تیئیس بہت بہتر سال ہوگا اس وقت مجھے اختر الیمان کا ایک شعر یاد آ رہا ہے کہ آپ ہوں میں نہیں انسان سے مایوس ابھی ابھی پھوٹے ہیں شگوفے ابھی کم سن ہے بہار تو جب تک بہار کے عنوان ہیں اس وقت تک جو ہے وہ زندگی پر امید ہے اور یہ امنگیں اسی طرح شاد و آباد رہیں گی وسلام و رحمۃ اللہ السلام علیکم ایوری ون مائی نیم از ہاجرا محمد سلیم آئی ایم اے گولڈ میڈلسٹ فرام دا یونیورسٹی آف کراچی ود اے ماسٹرس ڈگری ان ایجوکیشنل سائیکالوجی اینڈ آئی آلسو ہولڈ اے ڈپلوما ان ارلی چائلڈ ایجوکیشن فرام لنڈن ٹیچرس ٹریننگ کالج ایٹ دا مومنٹ آئی ایم ورکنگ ایٹ این ایجوکیشنل سپروائزری ایز این ایجوکیشنل ریسورس ڈیولپر اینڈ ٹیچر ٹرینر ایف آئی ور ٹو ڈسکرائب دا یئر ٹو Uh, the only word that comes to my mind is homeostasis because I believe this year has been very encouraging as far as going back to the normal is concerned post-COVID because in majority of the educational institutes, the SOP of force majeure was lifted and the management was able to conduct their curricular and extracurricular activities normally and in a proper physical environment and the setup how it used to be before COVID. Uh, since I belong to the learning and development industry, um, I always encourage teachers to work on their professional development. And I also strongly believe that we should lead by example. So this year, what I did was I decided to set aside some time and focus on my own professional and personal development. And for that reason, I enrolled in a few courses, uh, which primarily focused on digital literacy, neuro-linguistic programming, and also social skills development. And I believe these courses were very fruitful for me because they helped me to grow professionally as well as personally and highly benefited my mental health as well. Well. And I would like to give the same piece of advice to everyone out there because uh, such courses not only help you in your holistic development, uh, but also help you to create that tangible and visible difference and create a ripple effect in the lives of people who are around you. And I believe one of the great ways to do this is to join the platform of curators. I would like to really appreciate and wish all the very best to their team because they're doing a wonderful job as far as honing skills is concerned, as far as imparting knowledge is concerned. And most importantly, I believe they're doing a great job to satisfy the intellectual hunger that people have, people like me who are always looking to increase their knowledge and to brighten their horizons. So all the best to everyone and thank you very much. Yamanallah. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is Mehik Khwaja. Um, so regarding 2022, um, I think overall it was a very good year because um, especially at a time when we were suspecting a lot of new variants of coronavirus, um, I think 2022 brought so much hope uh, when we saw a massive decline in the COVID-19 cases and it, it, it was really good to feel a lot like it did prior to the pandemic so I think it was a good year it was nice to see um, our social and community lives going back to the normal pace uh, for 2023 uh, I'm not in a position to anticipate much but um, but I have two uh, very small 
realistic personal goals which are um, first of all I want to practice gratitude as much as I can um, because I think uh, New Year brings a lot of social pressure to craft all these um, fancy big goals but uh, I think it's it's a very good occasion uh, also to be thankful for what we already have so yes uh, I, I in the coming year I want to make a conscious effort in focusing the positives over the negatives. I would want to thank Vakar for doing the work he's doing. I think he's doing a great job and um, during this time when social media and Netflix and other platforms follow so much of our time, uh, so much of our precious time with all those um, virals. I think he is doing an amazing work uh, because his YouTube channel, uh, Vakar's YouTube channel has um, the capacity to practically teach anyone anything and I love the topics he cherry picks. Uh, all those contemporary issues that need a voice, that need to be discussed and uh, I, I really like how he has a very uh, good eye while selecting all the speakers he um, chooses to invite to uh, his sessions. So I wish him a good luck and I, I pray that he keeps doing the amazing work he's doing for all of us. So thank you. Hello, Assalamualaikum everyone. This is Jawad Ahmad, a content writer by profession and a passionate football fan of Liverpool team. 2022 has been over, but it has been an amazing journey in terms of self-development and self-growth for me. But as far as my country is concerned, I don't think I enjoyed that much in instability and um, you know the all turmoil and toil and trouble in the country. But 2023, we must be uh, optimistic and we must go with a positive approach. Uh, Vakar Razak has been an amazing, uh, you know, pro video creator and YouTuber. Uh, he has been producing a very informative and full of uh, full, full, full of informational videos for you. And I hope he will continue with the same spirit in 2023 and add a lot of value in our life. So I wish all of you, Vakar, and everyone around. A very happy new year. Hello, office. Uh, Yusuf Nur from Peshawar. Uh, currently, student who uh, mass communication ka lamay balo pani university me. 2022 kafi uh, ups and downs wala system ra uh, saal ra or inter ke paper dene the hai jis me thoda sa writer ka issue tha or bas yani barabar ka saal ra 50-50 acha bura dono. 2023 se kya expect expectations hai meri to हर उम्मीद पे दुनिया कायम है तो उम्मीद के बगैर कुछ नहीं कहा जा सकता उम्मीद है तो सब कुछ है और क्यूरेटर्स वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट चैनल्स इन यूट्यूब तो इसी तरह वकार भाई वीडियोस बनाते रहिएगा और एंजॉय कर रहे हैं हम भी और आई होप आप भी एंजॉय करते होंगे हमारा फीडबैक तो बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया थैंक यू जरा आप पे लोगों की राय सुनी उनके 2022 के मतलब बहुत सारे लोगों को जाहिर अनेक ख्वाहिशात हैं उनकी अच्छी तो है 2023 से और सबकी गुफ्तगु में एक चीज हमने नोटिस की है इसमें कि सबको ये लगता है कि जो पोस्ट कोविड एरा है वो शुरू हो गया कि 2020 और 2021 तक करीबन हमारा कोविड की नजर हो गया था लेकिन कि वर्क फ्रॉम होम की जो रेसिपी है ना वो बड़े सारे लोगों ने दुनिया में अपनाई है जी और مختلف कॉर्पोरेट सेक्टर्स में इवन पाकिस्तान में भी चार दिन काम होता है और एक दिन वर्क फ्रॉम होम होता है तो जनाब इस तरह 2022 तमाम तरह अपनी जो है वो मुश्किलात और खुशियां गम परेशानियां सब कुछ लेकर जनाब उनसे रुखसत हो रहा है और इस उम्मीद के साथ कि अगला आने वाला दिन जो है वो सबके लिए अगला आने वाले साल ये इसी साल है अगले आने वाला साल सबके लिए खुशियों का गहवारा साबित हो पाकिस्तान अपनी तरक्की को मजीद आगे बढ़ाए जो मुश्किलात हैं हम पर वो दूर हों तमाम तर जो परेशानियां हैं जो जो भी जाहिर है जिस किस्म की मुश्किलात में मुबतला है वो दूर हों और हम तरक्की और कामयाबी की मंजिल जो है उनको तय करते रहें इस दुआ के साथ कि इस क्यूरेटर के साथ जुड़ने वाला एक एक फर्द जो है वो अपनी जिंदगी में मस्बत तब्दीलियां उस साल के आगाज पर लेकर आएगा आपसे आपसे इजाजत लूंगा जाते जाते बस एक बड़ा खूबसूरत शेर है इकबाल का कि नहीं इकबाल ना उम्मीद अपनी किश्त वीरा से जरा नम हो तो ये मट्टी बड़ी जरखैज है सांपी